Okay, hi everyone. How about something a little different here? <laughs> You'll be able to repair this guy pretty easily. Let's see. Okay. That's something new about my shop arrangement. The, uh, i got to be a little more careful with the camera cord. Okay, sorry about that. I've knocked you guys down a few times. So I have my cheater power cord here. Okay, and that plugs in right here. In you go. Mm, looks like a fair bit of lubrication under here. up with this one. I'm going to give it a shot. Usually these old uh, record players have a lot of lubrication problems. Let's plug them in. And we'll turn them on. And you can see the line voltage meter here now uh, in the background. So there it is. Set the speed to 33. Manual. Hey, look at that. <laughs> okay, I heard I heard what the problem was there. It's setting down uh, I can't what's it doing setting way over here. Okay, that was it telling me there's no record because this arm is down. So move that arm up. Now it's kind of blind. We'll always assume there's a record. So we'll put it on manual. Nothing happens. And now we'll put it on auto. And it should come over. <sighs> Just barely made it. It's setting down. Looks like it's setting down for a 10 inch record. Let's see if it picks up. not detecting the end here at all. Oop, something go there? No. Let's see if it'll pick up when I push it on the auto. There it goes. Should try playing again. Yep. It's coming over this time. Looks like it's ready to play a 45 this time. And I can certainly see the speed of the platter slowing as the mechanics kick in. It's laboring. Part of that, uh, I could hear the idler skidding on the inside of the platter. It makes the platter ring like a bell, just a little bit. You just hear this zing, zing sound. So that tells me the idler wheel is skidding on the inside of the platter. Very common problem because the idler wheels are rubber and rubber rubber doesn't stay young forever. Nothing holding that on. Yes, oh, and that's just, is that right? That's as loose as can be there. Is that even the right clip? I don't think that's the right clip. It started coming off. And even the... I didn't even do anything. Look at that. So I'm going to guess this thing's been through a repair and uh, these clips, uh, when you take them off, they can easily go flying. So it, you can't be too surprised, oops, see that? <laughs> if, uh, if the clip is not the original. It's the right kind of clip. Off. And here's the idler wheel here. It's 
spring seems good. We'll take the idler wheel right off and take a look at it. Oops. It's another clip that can go flying if you're not careful. the idler wheel. Now, when I look at it, of course, I'm able to angle it purposefully for my eyes. Let's see if I can do this on camera. So, you see, see the shiny spot there? Okay. It's pretty shiny on the surface. And that usually means it's polished. Oh. And it won't have the pull the friction it needs to drive it. Now something else too, let's see if I can get this on camera. Now right in the shiny spot you should see a line. See a little line there? And that's actually a dent into the rubber from the idler wheel sitting up against the uh, motor shaft, the drive shaft and sitting there for, well, who knows. There's one of them. There's another small one there, but I don't think the, these are relatively small. Even the one I found there is, there's another one. So this can cause a thumping sound in the record player when it uh, turns around. Every time that dent goes past the motor, in particular the motor spinning shaft, the drive shaft, it'll go thump. This is going quite fast, actually. Thump, 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 thump. Like that. We don't like either of those things. We don't want the shine, and we don't want the divots. So, time to grind. That's what I would say. So, we'll set up to do a little grinding here. We need a, a nut and a bolt I can put through put through this, through the hole there. 